Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Fortune Street playthrough. I am back from my break, which I by far needed because I was very upset with the game. And I'm going to be completely honest, this is my third attempt at trying to record this board, because it won't give me a good round where I get decent luck. Both rounds refuses to give me any properties, forcing me to pay the computer players too early. And it's getting really frustrating again. Apparently, the game doesn't want me to enjoy playing it anymore. But, hopefully, this round will go a lot better, where I won't have to pay anyone for the majority of the game, or at the start of it, and can actually get more than two properties on the board, because I got two properties, and then it refused to let me get any more. Without further ado, let us start, and I pray that this round will actually be good, because I've already had to reset twice, as I've mentioned. Because it won't give me an enjoyable round, and I'm not playing the stop game this time, I refuse. I want a round where I can actually, you know, have fun. Right, playing the stop game can be fun, but not when you get a horrible start. Good, and I'm going first this time, which is the best position to start on this board. But anyways, I was going to pick Dragonlord instead of Peach, but if I did, it would just be a complete clone of Alephgard, so I just decided to swap Dragonlord for Peach, as she hasn't come back either. Okay, anyways, so this board is kind of weird. It's in the shape of a circle, please don't drop my frames. And I'm just going to say this now, District C and District B are completely washed. Other than the vacant lots, there is no point in getting any properties in this district, because no one will ever land on these properties unless they have to land on a warp, and let's be honest, if someone lands on here, and they roll a 1, they're not going to land on there if someone else owns the property, they're just going to go up here. So, those districts are completely irrelevant. The best districts by far are F, E and H. They've got decent properties in, and you have to go past them in order to get the suits. The purple one is a bit too cheap, so... Kind of a uh, scuffed district, if that makes sense. But anyways, let's see if I can actually get properties this time. And I get a vacant lot. I'm gonna go for this one, and I'm making this a checkpoint, because... Fairly common that people will pass through them, and I'm fine with a checkpoint. Yeah, already someone's gone past it. Now watch me land on that next turn, because this game absolutely hates me at the moment. And a wasted vacant lot. Right, please can I land on a property that someone else doesn't own. That's not a property. Here we go again, can't get any properties. Unless I get a warp, which would be fantastic, but I don't see it happening. At least I'm winning something, even if the last row gives me nothing. 100 gold. I'm just hoping I can actually pick up properties this time because I've played two rounds of this, both time. The first round, I got one property on my first turn, landed on a venture card and was forced to auction the only property I had. Second turn... Okay, Peach is cheating again. Every game that Peach plays, she cheats. Every time she got the she got the free suit yourself on the last round as well. The one that one of the ones that I reset. Literally every game that Peach plays, she cheats. She does it in Mario Party One all the time. She does it in this game all the time. And that's why I don't like playing against her because for some reason she just gets insanely lucky every time. Unless I'm playing against her with a friend, because when I'm playing against her with a friend, for some reason she just stops cheating most of the time. Really? Am I just not allowed to ever get properties in this game? It's just, just the, the common thing with me. Okay, never mind. 
Loom over to any vacant lot or shop. Okay, well, Angelo's got two there, so I obviously can't really do anything there. I'm not getting one in District C, because there's no point. Honestly, I'm gonna just get this 220 and see if I can get this purple district here. Everyone else is not really going towards it at the moment, so it's my chance to actually, you know, pick up some properties. And even if I just get two in that district, it'll be fine, because I could probably take it over quite easily. Unfortunately, I was hoping to get that one that Birdo got, but uh, they beat me to it. Felt bad for Birdo last round because they should have got second and they just got really unlucky at the end because I rolled really low and couldn't get back to the bank. Right, can I get an unknown property please? Thank you. Two in a district. Cheap district, but I don't care. Right now, I want properties. Oh, she's got two in there already. Great. Birdo's just getting all the expensive ones. Which is going to be a problem when I need to go get the suits up there. Pink District's a fairly good one as well, I would say. I should have got the 650 now that I think about it, but oh well. And not allowed a property. Yay. I can't really say I've had a good... I'm on good terms with this board, because the last two rounds I played were just going to be another miserable round where I would have complained pretty much the entire time. I, I just want one round of this game where it doesn't go horribly wrong, and I actually get some decent luck and can actually enjoy playing this game, because the whole reason why I'm doing a playthrough of this game is because this is a game that I usually like. But when you just have horrible luck, and you just get terrible round after terrible round after terrible round, it really takes the fun out of it. No one likes playing around where they just don't get lucky, or any kind of luck the entire time. And Skyscraper was just, again, one of the worst rounds I've ever played, because I couldn't get anyone to land on my, dis on my properties. I had two really good districts on the board, including the best one, and no one landed on any of my properties for the majority of the game, unless they were closed, so I just got paid nothing. Meanwhile, Platterpunk got to skip every single property every time, never paid anyone a decent amount of money. Bowser threw the game by giving it to Platterpunk by constantly investing when Platterpunk was going to win. And then Mario, despite having a terrible start, just got really lucky and got a district of three, which completely blocked me from getting the whole... Which completely blocked me from uh, being able to get the club for half the game, so I couldn't promote. And that's the main reason why I fell behind, because it's like, oh yeah, you can have this club if you pay a thousand. No thanks. I just never got a chance to skip it, either. That's what I hated. But ideally, I just get around where I don't get horrible luck. I can actually, you know, do something. I'm just gonna go and grab the hearts because I skipped one of those two. And a free diamond, excellent. Now I can just go straight back to the bank. The problem is though with the purple district is the stock is so cheap that it doesn't actually raise the price when you buy it. And I found that out the hard way. 
Well, I would have for sure got three in that district if I was Birdo. So they would have got the three strongest properties in there, meaning they had the better district. Okay, that's fine with me. Thing is, though, I kind of wasted my Suit Yourselves last time. No, oh, I'm playing the worst arcade game. Still don't like Darts of Gold. Yeah, especially when I get... Especially when I'm giving 100 gold to someone else. Yeah, fooled it. I just can't do it. I just can't do Dart of Gold. I just can't. I never get what I need. I always give... Oppo I always give my opponents money, and I never get anything myself. Where did Peach even buy stock? District B, probably. Yeah, I thought so. But I'm just going to say this well. There's going to be no upload on Saturday. I'm busy again. You know what? I'm fine. Please switch me. I don't actually care who I go to, actually, because it's just going to put, it's gonna put me with Peach. That's fine, actually. But I'm going to basically be going to an event that takes place for a hobby of mine again. So, I won't be... And it, it starts fairly late this time. It's like 2 in the afternoon is when it starts, so I won't be able to... You know, upload a video if I'm gonna be busy. Yeah, I'm taking that 650. I don't really feel like that on my low home. This way, if I get a one, I can get another district to work with. Okay, I like this. Peach losing a lot of money to a lower ranking computer is always good. Especially because she's a whole promotion ahead of everyone at the moment. But the event I'm going to for the game, it's a game called Ingress, which those of you who don't know is basically the predecessor to Pokemon Go. It's the game that the company made first. And it's in a local area to me, so it's the only time I can actually go to it without having to get like a plane or somewhere. Uh, it's literally in my local city, which again, I'm not saying where it is because I'd rather not give out my location. But it's, it's about 45 minutes drive for me. I'm going with a friend who also plays. And it's my first time going to one. So honestly excited to see how it goes. Because I have no idea what I'm doing or how it's going to work. But we'll see. I'm sure I'll have fun doing it at least, even if I don't do very well. I'm not the greatest at the game because I don't have access to a vehicle myself, so I can't really travel anywhere. It gives me a massive disadvantage compared to most people. But at the end of the day, it gives me a reason to go outside. Um, I don't really like going out when it's cold, because I'm not... I don't do well in cold weather. Hot weather, I do really well in. Ooh, I got two in District A. I'm going to probably buy stock there instead then, unless I can't afford to. Oh no, I won't be able to. I'll just put it in G. But in terms of Ingress, it... I used to be a Pogo player and would play it pretty much every day, but I got absolutely obsessed with the game and it took over my life. And because of it, I kind of saw the flaws with how bad of a game Pokemon Go really has become. And because of it, I basically quit. I used to be more of an infamous player for the game. I know that I sound a bit egotistical saying this, but trust me, people... People knew who I was when it came to the game, and I became, I basically became kind of one of those players that everyone knows about. Angela, you're just ruining my hopes of getting a district every time, aren't you? 
But the main reason why I quit Pokemon Go is mostly because of, well, it's three big reasons. The biggest reason why I quit was because the gameplay was just getting really stale, to the point where it was just unenjoyable. And what I mean by this is you basically were forced to play the game every single day if you didn't want to miss something because it was just event spam after event spam after event spam. And Niantic really need to learn to let people have a break from the game and stop just spamming events. I know they want to keep people playing, but it's not going to work because you force your players to basically play the game every day, they're going to get burnt out and then they're not going to want to play. Like, they just add a new legendary in Pokemon Go every single month, so you basically have to play, otherwise you're going to miss it, and if you miss it, you're going to have to trade someone, and most of the time they want a shiny that they need. So it's just a complete nightmare. Yeah, let's get this suit out of the way. Oh, I'm low on money, actually. I didn't realise. But Ingress doesn't have events every single day, which is much better, because I can therefore take a break from the game when I need to, if I want to do other things, such as my other hobbies, such as you know, gaming, climbing, swimming. Whereas if I play Pogo, I couldn't really do that. Because if I did, then I would fall behind. And that's just the problem I have with Pogo as a game. It's just horrendously flawed. And then reason number two is because of cheaters, people who would spoof, which is when they falsify their location. Because the thing that I did in Pokemon Go was I was trying to get as many gyms to gold as I can. And when I was getting kicked out of gyms by people who were spoofing them, it made it an absolute pain in the neck for me to get them gold. And believe me, it was very annoying when you get kicked out of a gym by someone who wasn't there that you walked nearly half an hour to get to. And then the third reason, which I really shouldn't be saying this, but is the community. Because my local area had a lot of really nasty people, and when I was playing Pogo actively, I was like 16, 17. And there were these guys that were just not very nice to me. They took the game a bit too seriously, like I did. I can't really say that I didn't take the game seriously, I did. But when you get people who are deliberately targeting you over the game and just making it unenjoyable for you, it's just, why would you even bother playing? Oh, I really want to get that, but I don't think I can afford it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I don't think I can afford that property. But I'm not mentioning any of the names of the players who targeted me, because at the end of the day, I don't need... I know I don't really have that many people that watch these videos, but on the internet, people are, let's just say, not the wisest thinkers, and will quite often do stuff that they really shouldn't. And what I mean by this is... If I said the name of them, people might go and harass them, which I don't want to happen, of course. Because I don't want... As much as they haven't been nice to me, no one deserves to be harassed over anything, regardless of what person it is. You could be, like, the meanest person ever, but I would not condone anyone going out of their way to witch hunt or harass you. But, long story short, Pokemon Go officially died to me. It's a game that I used to love, but now I just absolutely despise it. I'm just going to get my ready to move. Just back to War Healy, yeah. But, Ingress is just a much better game. For me, anyways. I still think that... Pokemon Go was the better game, but in terms of my playstyle, Ingress is just much better for me because I don't have to play it every single day. I can just take a break when I need to.
And at the end of the day, it's just much better for me to play a game that doesn't mean I get obsessed with it. Because as well, the other problem with Pogo is I literally went out really late at night when I was a university student just to play the game. Because I would do all of my, like, assignments and stuff during the day, and then I would stay out till, like, 2 in the morning just playing the game. Like, there was a time where uh, a regional got released worldwide, which we just refer to as Farfetch Night, because I decided it would be a brilliant idea to go into a, a closed cemetery by climbing over a wall. Uh, I think that was three in the morning I went in. Oh, that was really close. And I just decided, yeah, let's go in this cemetery at three in the morning. What could go wrong? And, well, nothing did go wrong, to be fair, because everyone, you know, was actually asleep, like normal people would be. And then there was just my stupid self. Oh, let's go in this cemetery and catch Farfetch. Plus a spoofer was kicking me out of the gyms in there, so... <laughs> Didn't really want to lose them, so I just took them straight back as well. really happy with this roll because it means I can go and get the spade. And yeah, we're building another checkpoint. Uh, if I can catch up to Healy again, I'm just probably going to go get the heart because I feel that's the hardest suit for me at the moment because the diamond, I don't have any properties down there, but it's fairly expensive. Anyways, I don't want to get sidetracked. I've actually got a conversation topic today, and it's about Ingrid. So, I cannot lie though, I do have some differences with some players when it comes to Ingress, and unfortunately for me, one of them is going to be going to the event as well, but I'm just going to be the better person and ignore them and just stay away from them because I really don't want anything to do with them. At the end of the day, everyone's turning up to the event to enjoy themselves and just have fun. It's a similar hobby that we all have, so we can meet new people. And yes, Ingress is a very competitive game. Oh, I'm landing on Peach's expensive one. Oh well. I think that's the first time I paid someone the whole game though, so I won't even complain that much. Uh, I want a heart, please. And, at the end of the day, I'm going with a friend as well, so I can still hang out with him. And, the last thing I need is to bring up drama, which I don't want to be that kind of person. And the person that I don't get on with is going to start something, I'm just going to ignore them. It's simple as, it's not worth paying him any mind. Okay, so that's all the properties around that I've now bought. So the only one left is the, is the District A one that I really wanted, but I don't, I didn't have the money, so. But yeah, Ingress is a very competitive game. The way how it works is there's two teams, one called Enlightened, one called Resistance. I'm on the Enlightened faction because green is my favourite colour. And quite a lot of the Pogo players that were in the same area had joined that team as well, and I was going to be joining the green faction regardless. But the main reason I went into Ingress was because I wanted to submit my own Pokestops and gyms in Pokemon Go, because you couldn't do that back then when I played. And I know you can do it now. I stopped playing Pokemon Go in February of 2021, so it's actually going to be three years since I stopped playing soon. But quitting Pokemon Go was definitely the right choice for me. The game just made me angry, and it took over my life. Basically, just spent all of my free time playing Pokemon Go, which is really not the greatest idea. I got a lot of exercise from it, though. Like I had really strong legs. 
but it really wasn't worth it at the end of the day. And I can just go and do other things now to stay in shape. Like, I just go on walks in the summer quite often now. Pretty much the same places where I would go playing Pokemon Go, I just go on a walk there instead now to stay in shape. My upper body strength sucks though. That I need to work on. Okay, at least you're giving me a choice this time, but my answer is no. But the event that I'm doing is called First Saturday, which is, if it's not self-explanatory, it's an event that takes place on the first Saturday of each month. And from what I found out, it take it takes place at a pub, which I guess is fine, because if it rains then we can at least just go to the pub and get a couple of drinks. Although I don't really drink beer, so... Just not a fan of it, honestly. Like, one of the only... mid-twenties guys who doesn't actually drink. Oh, what's the... You warp where everyone warps. Honestly, I don't even care if this warps me, because as long as it doesn't put me too far away from where I need to go. I don't know how that's going to work, actually. Where does the green warp go? Does it just go to the yellow one? Or does it go to the club or something? That didn't really matter. I don't even know where this takes me, but I think I'm just stuck in a circle there. Okay, that's fine. So I guess if you end up on that space, you get stuck in a circle by the looks of it. So maybe those districts aren't as bad as I thought, because no one really went there either round that I played in practice. And trust me, I played this a lot in practice because I wanted to understand what I was doing. I'm obviously going to go get the club. Or well, not the club, the, the, the spade. Jeez. Hopefully I get to invest as well. Go the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I don't care about closing my shops because they're not really that expensive. No one's heading to my decent side of the board, anyways. She can get another promotion? That's crazy. Oh, and I just realised, you pretty much have a- you have to go past one of my checkpoints now. I'm a bit worried about Peach, because she is having a really good start at the moment. Well, Birdo's stuck over there now. I thought that you could uh, go a different direction, but I guess not. Because every time that I played this board, no one went over there. And I think someone did land on a warp, it was like the blue one or something, and they just left straight away. Okay, I'm actually really happy with this roll. Yes, I used my suit yourself, but I wanted the faster promotion. Because I don't want to have to go around the whole board just to get the suit that I need. going to invest in this one, of course, because it's cheaper. And now I've got a pretty decent uh, section here. I make quite a bit of money as well, so that's good. And I think I'm now in the lead. Yes, I am. Nice. 
Oh, not anymore. Oh, of course, that goes right in front of my face. Peach, why are you like this? Well, that's her max capital done now. She has to buy out what she wants anymore. So, Birdo, are you able to get out of there or might you actually benefit from your estate agency? Oh, come on! That's lame. She lands on the useless square and ruins my chance of getting free in the district. You hate to see it. Okay, can I please roll a decent number so I don't have to? Okay, that's, that's honestly fine. I can just max out the other one and then get out of the district, because I'm definitely not getting free in there anytime soon. Yeah, it's pretty much between me and Peach, and then Angelo and Birdo are just there. I have one in District D, actually. If I get another investment, I'm gonna put it straight in there, because I don't want Peach buying it out. Well, that was lucky. Wait, if, if Birdo was stuck in that section, does that mean they're gonna have to keep going past my checkpoints? I didn't even think about that. It's not my only decent shop in that district. I get a high roll, please. Damn it. Exactly what I didn't want. But then again, 300 is a bit, but it's not actually too bad for me, because I didn't even flinch. If I landed on it again, I would, because my net worth has just dipped below. Oh, come on, Peach. Why are you being so mean? Yeah, they do have to go past them. Oh, Birdo's running out of money. Birdo gets stuck there for ages. They're going to have to sell properties. I take back what I said about those two districts. I didn't realise that you had to keep circling it, because no one really went there. I might try and land in a warp, though, just so I don't get in trouble early game. What did you do? Stop. Oh, nice. Oh, I forgot she sold all her stock. Never mind. Oh, this card. Now, if someone was going past my checkpoint, that would be really nice, but they're not going to. Yeah, you did it to me, Peach, so I'm just doing the same thing straight back to you. I'm not letting you buy this out. Oh, she had round blocks, yeah. Oh man, I just need Peach to stop cheating. Okay, at least she didn't win anything, because I really don't need her being able to skip suits at the moment. I kind of need her to lose some money as well. I was lucky for Birdo. But, if Birdo doesn't get to leave, they're basically done, I think. Oh, never mind, Angelo's going to give bird over a charitable donation of like 300 or like 30 gold 40 okay uh, yeah, we'll go on this one. is there anything else I actually need to protect not really no I don't need to because uh 
Birdo doesn't buy out until super late game. Okay, Peach, you're beginning to concern me with your dice rolls as you keep getting everything you seem to need. I don't even know how much money Birdo even has. Oh, they're free. Well, they're not going to run out of money anymore. Unfortunately for me, because the odds are they would have broken up the yellow district, which would have given me three in there if I won the auction. Okay, thank you, Angelo, for not prioritising your promotion, because I'd rather you not give Peach nearly 500. Okay, I don't really care. Peach isn't going to go through my decent section anyways, and neither is Birdo. Okay, good. I'm fine with this. I need Peach to lose as much money as possible. Problem is, I want to loop back to the bank, but I can't at the moment. Yes, Birdo. Stop Peach from buying that out. That was a good round for her, actually. Or Ben, sorry. Okay. My turn at last. I kind of want to loop back to the bank, but I don't really want to at the moment because I'll have to go through Peach's district again, which is not going to be fun. Well, either way, if this hits District D, she sold her stock, so she's not going to gain as much as normal. Well, that's pointless. You know, if I actually have the choice to go into a warp, I'm actually going to consider doing it. Just because I could, you know, get some of these properties, and if someone else happens to get stuck there, then it could uh, basically end the game for them. Oh, nice. Big payment. Probably going to have to give it all back next turn, but oh well. I've only just taken the lead, relax. And I'm not going to be in the lead for much longer. Oh, sweet, someone else landed on my over a hundred. So even if I pay Birdo, I still make a decent profit. I want like a seven. Oh, ask and we shall receive. Memory block. Yeah, this round's going a lot nicer so far and I'm actually enjoying the game. Oh dear. I take it back. All smalls. Well, I'm just going to pick randomly then. Damn it. The sad thing is, I pressed it earlier, and the game just said no. But yeah, I spoke too soon. Great, now that one's easier for Peach to buy out. Most of my shops are terrible anyways. No, never mind, I had a lot less than- oh, because they're vacant lots, right. I feel that my checkpoints are going to be what helped me win. I think it was only a 5% decrease rather than a 10, but still, it's really annoying. My checkpoints are helping me a lot. Definitely made the right call making those checkpoints, because either one, unless they land on the bank, they have to go through one of them. Diamond again. I am definitely thinking of buying out something, but I don't know what at the moment. Uh, how much is the stock price here? Oh, yeah, I'm buying this out.
No, I did mean to steal your shop, Paige. It's mine now. And you're not having it back. Although this means that she's going to freeload here, but that's fine. Because I still have five, so she'll freeload here. But I wasn't planning on investing there straight away yet anyways. I'm planning on investing in District G. I just wanted these uh, prices to go up a bit. So it makes it harder to get to the bank for my uh, opponents. And this way I have the district I can prepare for later. For when Peach inevitably gets free in a district somewhere. I just realised Peach has literally only got four shops on the board. Well, no such luck from Angelo, but he does have to go through my checkpoint, which is cool. He's going to put stock in the same district. Wow, his promotion was terrible. He only got a, a minuscule 200. Or 700, rather. I thought he was going to get a 1,000. Uh, if I land on Birdo's one, I'm not buying it out, because there's no point. Yeah, and typically I landed on it, but we're going to this district. Because I'd rather not give Peach the game. And no, I'm not buying this out, as I said. If only that was her tax office. Oh, cool. I'm forced to invest. That's completely fine. It's actually what I wanted, so... I, I'm also kind of relieved that January is coming to an end, because I'm really not a fan of it. Don't like January. Oh, Angelo said he was going to thrash me. I recognise that quote. Yeah, let's... Wow, that shop is so terrible, the price doesn't even go up when I invest into it. Oh, she's just going to buy out this one instead. I'm kind of hoping that Angelo will buy out one of Peach's shops to get free in a district because that will make her investing chance even lower. Because Peach only has two shops on the outer ring, and if she can't invest in those, then she's not really going to be able to win. Oh, nice. That's actually what I wanted. Now I can get free in here. So I am running a bit low on money. I'm down to just 1500. Well, 1462 to be exact. Wow, this district is absolutely awful, though. Like, look at it. I only have 94 capital I can put in one of those shops, that's how bad it is. Okay, she's just, uh, Venture Square hopping, where she just goes from Venture Square to, uh, Boon Square to not having to pay a property square. Even Birdo's starting to get it. Angelo's the only one without a decent section. So the odds are he might actually get last. Unless he does last. Just... Well, three times buyout. I 
think he will use it because he can get free in the district quite easily. No? Angelo, what are you doing? Oh, so first I get memory block and I lower my shots by 5% and I get the worst arcade game as well. Oh, and there's a stupid Bowser segment. Well, I didn't hit it, but I'm just going to give, like, 400 goals to probably Peach. Oh, for goodness sake, I was joking, game. This is why I hate Dart of Gold. Every single time, without fail, I give the worst person I can to me money. I don't even know why she was on that board. She's way ahead. She shouldn't have had a square on there. And now I've just given her even more money that she can use to invest. I just hate Dart of Gold. If it's not obvious by the fact I never get anything good from it. I've never actually given myself money from Dart of Gold. The only time I hit myself is when I get Bowser. I really wish I knew how to time it, if there was a way, but I'm pretty sure it is predetermined also. Let me check my recording's definitely working. Yes it is, because I'd hate to have to redo this round again. Can I get a free oh, I actually already got a free diamond. Oh, I'm playing another arcade game. Okay, can they not all be small this time? I'm way behind. Peach is 2,000 ahead. Please, can they not all be small? Thank you. Suit yourself would be fantastic. Let's be lazy. Nice. Thank you. And if I can, uh... And unless I roll a 1, I will be going straight to the bank. Wow, I've just realised that I've fallen to third place. And I'm not far behind falling to last. This is not going well. I don't even know what happened. Okay, that's fine. Right, so unless I roll a one, I'm just going to go to the bank. will invest in this absolutely awful shop. And the reason why I wanted to go to the bank is because I can, you know, get through Peach's section. Because now there's 700. Okay, she's blatantly cheating. Look at this. She hasn't landed and paid anyone for ages. And a free promotion. Not that it matters. She only needed one suit anyways. But yeah, it's not going very well. Especially because Peach is blatantly cheating by not paying anyone the whole game. Okay, good. At least I don't get 13. And the scary thing is, I would have taken that row next. So thank you, Birdo, for going and blocking that row for me so I don't get that awful card. Oh, and that could make stopping District A go down. That would be really nice if that happened. Thank you. Shoppy Whoppies. What? Oh, he can't land on any of mine. Oh, she can. He's forced to, I think. No, he lands on his own. I can't do math. Okay, that's fine. Oh, never mind. He did go to mine for some reason. Well, I'm just going to buy more stock in there next anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Thank you for not buying that out. And thank you for raising my terrible stock price. The one is honestly completely fine. Uh, yeah, here again. And it doesn't go up. This district sucks. <laughs> okay, I would ask her to stop cheating, but this actually works for me, because if I roll a three, it means I can just land on one of her closed ones. And Birdo's going back to the warp area. 
works for me, it causes my toll gates to go up. Well, one of them is definitely going up. Now, Peach got stuck in that segment, that would be fantastic. Why'd you go for that one, you weirdo? And so I was really hoping you would buy that 15 shop out of hers, because then she'd only have one place on the whole main part of the board where she could invest. And that 25 would also be good, because if she can only invest by going towards the bank, she'd basically have to pay me to go through a checkpoint. Like, the odds are that I could win this game, but if Peach gets really lucky, then she's going to win. Uh, the way it's going, she has been getting pretty lucky. Ideally, I want Peach to land on one of my District A expensive properties. We shall go this way first. I'm just gonna do that. Now oh, that one's actually decent. No, oh, you're welcome. She's just a roll seven, isn't she? Oh, she actually landed on one. <laughs> that shop is so bad. 70 and it's maxed in a district of three. What a terrible shop. I really look forward to the custom boards, though. Well, some of them. Some of the custom boards are really bad. But you can tell when a board has actually been tested and when a board hasn't. It's just because of, well, one of the boards that I did with my friend recently was horrendously flawed. You know what? I'm actually okay with this. Because I could potentially pick up some shops down there. Stop cheating! Oh my goodness, that's a horrible grid. She's gonna hit herself, isn't she? Yep. Peach is cheating! Luckily, she doesn't have very much stock in her district. In fact, she doesn't have any stock in her district, so what was I on about? It's not really an issue to me, is it? Well, I mean, the 300's a bit pricey, but other than that... Anything in the head seven. Either that or I'm gonna get the cheap one. Now if Peach got stuck in here, that would be fantastic. Oh my gosh, ask and you shall receive now. Can she just get stuck here for the rest of the game, please? And thanks. Because there's no suits here. You can't leave, which is kind of funny, but also a bit scary at the same time. Oh, bye, Birdo. I don't care if Birdo leaves, because not she's not the one I'm worried about. They're not the one I'm worried about. It's Peach that I want to get stuck with, because if Peach keeps going through my checkpoints, it's going to be good. It'll be very good. Oh, there's seven. Right next to 13. One of the best cards next to one of the worst ones, and just wait till 103 comes in the deck, which will be on the custom board. Oh my gosh, 103 is 13, but worse. You think that 13 is bad? 103 lowers all of your shots by a quarter. It's awful. The worst card in the game. It's usually only on easy rules. Oh, nice. I got this one as well. Close her shops that no one's gonna land on. 
But she had to go through my checkpoint, and that's the important thing. We like it when Peach has to pay me money. <laughs> nice, Birdo. That was a brilliant idea, because now you don't have to go through an expensive one. Birdo was actually smart there, instead of just going straight to the bank. Yep, that's fine with me. I get to max out the last one here, give myself even more money. Wow! Rude Peach. I'm meant to be a genuine prince. She's competitive. That's her personality in this game. Target's 20,000 on this board, so we're going to be here a while. Oh dear. Poor Birdo. That was quite pricey for them. Okay, either way, I would like to either get a property or leave would be ideal. I think I've maxed everything out of mine. I don't really have... I'm just going to invest in this one because it's bad. You're welcome, Birdo. Oh, that wasn't long enough. If I do get stuck here for ages, my checkpoints are just going to increase. Oh yeah, and if I land on that estate agency or home, that's getting bought out, by the way, and I'm turning it into another checkpoint. Oh, please go to me. That would be so funny. Nah. Oh well. We're all going to Peach, which is actually fine, because it means I can go get the diamond, so I appreciate that. Everyone's probably going to go get the diamond. You know, I really should buy this out, but... No. I really should buy that out so that she has even less chance of investing. Oh, she's just going to go max one of those two bad shops, I reckon. One that I said I was going to buy out. I don't think that's really going to do much to stop Angelo, but she can try. No one's landed on that 133 shop of mine, I feel, for the whole game. Not sure what he's going to do if he rolls a 3, honestly. All that. Okay, good. Thank you for not throwing the game, Angelo. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm afraid that's not going to stop me, my guy. A second I land on that, that's getting bored out. go this way because I don't have to worry about peaches. Do I have another terrible shop anywhere that I need to protect? No, not really. So I'm going to say no and I'm just going to sell all the stock in my district and then buy it in peaches. Well, I definitely will be buying stock in her district if she buys this out. Or actually, no, if she does that, Okay, she didn't sell in District A. I'm buying stock in her district then. Oh, 
Thank you, Bird Eye. Well, obviously he's gonna get the 700. Or the 800 in District B, yeah. one of them out of there. I could put stock in there, actually. I'm putting it in, no, Peach's district. Oh yeah, this is getting bought out, by the way. See, Birdo, it's kind of a waste of a vacant lot at the moment. Yes, Peach, I do. I do plan on sabotaging you because you're going to be able to put 99 more stock in there on your next promotion. And you're going to get a bit too dangerously close to the goal if you do, in fact. If you do, in fact, manage to get some investments, which would be very unlucky for me, considering you only have two shops on the main part of the board. Everyone's just closing their shops. Okay, well, first of all, this vacant lot is getting renovated to another checkpoint. I know it's late game, but... It's a stupid <laughs> estate agency that does nothing. Let's go get the heart. At least Fortune Street 2 rolling again actually fixed the estate agency because it went from being a pointless thing to still somewhat pointless because of the low chance of landing on it, but at least it's not useless. Wow, I got, I got owned. I wasn't even allowed to get any coins. Oh, great. Peach is gonna win, isn't she? No. Wait, maybe. Oh, it's close. Okay, good. Nobody won, which is fine, because I didn't get any coins, because I got scammed by the arcade. She got 60. Wow, that was terrible. That was just a waste of everyone's time. Oh, for goodness sake, really? Nah, this is rigged. This is rigged. This is rigged. This is completely rigged. Are you kidding me, game? Why does she get to get round the blocks and lucky sevens? Are you actually kidding me? The only person who can beat me in this game gets lucky sevens. She just got. She's won now because of that. Three grand. But nothing we can do. That's ridiculous. She just got two promotions for that. Peach is cheating, it's confirmed. She's blatantly cheating now. Just, are you actually joking? I would like to win around once in a while, you know. Please buy out one of Peach's shops. Why mine? Which one is he even buying out? What, why that one? What are you doing? Why? You're now trapped in there, you know. What is he doing? That was stupid. Like, that was actually stupid. 
Has a free spade gone yet? No, but I get the crap stock card. You know, the one that Peach really needed. Thank you for not throwing Birdo. Speaking of throwing Angelo, why man? I really don't know why he bought out mine to get free there. He really should have gone for one of Peaches. So I know I had a district of three there. But still. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to buy more stock in here. And I know I've got to pay Peach. But... She's going to go up to 198 next turn. So this way I would like to have similar stock to her. Because she has been uh, blatantly cheating, if it's not obvious. crashing her stock to try and win. Yeah, you can always tell when I get a text message or something because I just don't say anything. Ugh, that's annoying. Yeah, and Peach is gonna land on something. Probably my 600. Never mind. She couldn't even get the suit as well, because she would have landed on the warp. If she goes over there, she knows that she's not going to make any progress. Okay, well, she, she skips. She doesn't pay my terrible toll, but I really don't care about 20 gold at the moment. Watch, it's going to... That 20 gold's going to determine who wins the game. Oh, Angelo had to... Okay, never mind. I was like, why is he going that way? He has all the six, but he would have had to pay Peach, so I'm glad he didn't do that, because that would have been a throw. Okay, I've got to take this risk, unfortunately. Do I need to protect anything? Yes, this one, because I don't want Angelo buying them both. And this way I could hopefully buy some stock in her district, but I really hope that this isn't a big mistake. Because if I have to... Because if I have to pay her, then that's just going to basically ruin everything. safe yet. And if she stock dives me, then that's completely fine. Wow, 
Wow, Peach is finally getting bad numbers. Took long enough. Is I can't invest in District A because Peach has just still got stock in there. Right, time to see if Angelo actually threw the game or whether he's actually going to, you know, invest in District B. Nope, he's actually investing in District B. Fair enough. <laughs> now he's forced to get rid of a shop, which will probably be one of the ones he has in District F or E. That's kind of funny. Yeah, District F. Not surprised. Uh oh. Okay, thank goodness. I was so scared I was going to land on that. Uh, I'd rather not go to the war because Angelo could invest, and I'd rather not have to pay hefty amount of money. Oh, she stopped diving. Excellent. That's completely fine with me. Oh, Birdo's selling the shop. And they will because they're a B rank. Yeah, of course, the district that they've been investing in. Birdo moment. Or D rank moment. It's usually what they do. It's just dumb. I don't know why. I know D ranks aren't the smartest, but come on. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Don't need to worry about buying Peach's shops out anymore. Yeah, especially she's doing the same thing as Patty did this time, but the difference is Patty had two districts, Peach only has one. And it's just gonna get to the point where what happens? Because if she's just gonna keep stock diving, then eventually nothing's gonna she's not gonna make any progress. And her district everyone's been avoiding the whole game. I know someone will most likely land on one eventually. Oh my gosh, he got the next one as well? It's a miracle. Angelo's having to sell most of his properties. He's going for that one. Yeah, you can keep doing this, Peach. I really do not care. I know I'm losing more than her. But at the end of the day, where's she going to invest? Angelo's district? The club doesn't really matter because they're just going to pass it next anyways. She's not stopped diving because she's now taken the lead. <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. That was actually stupid. So you know all that money that she just made me lose, she just gave it straight back. I'm actually at a loss for words, that was so incredibly stupid.
I think her game plan is hoping that someone lands on that, like with what happened with Patty, and I really don't want a repeat of that because that was just completely unfair. Uh, I, I don't even know where to go, honestly. This one will do. It's fine with me, an extra 250. She's gonna stock dive again, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, what is the point? Yeah, karma. I don't know why she even did that in the first place. She just stock dived me and then gave me a load of money. I don't get the logic. <laughs> Is it because she took the lead or something? I don't get it. I, I really don't know what her plan was. But it's fine with me. Oh wow, someone landed on that 133. It's been ages since someone's actually landed on that. Even I haven't landed on that a second time. I need the club. No. Angelo's district? Yeah, I thought so. She lost more money than she gained, which is a bit funny. It's only 70, but it will do. And there's a chance Angelo could land on something. It's a very low chance, but it's still a chance. Nah. He has to go through my checkpoint, though. And Birdo will as well. Oh, he's heading up to a 1000, actually. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, crud. Exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's a problem. Because now it, now it means I won't be able to skip her stuff as easily, and Angelo could invest making an expensive shop in front of my face. In fact, I will probably be buying one of his shops if I land on one of the cheap ones. The home, if I land on that, that's going straight away. I don't like that both of them are going that way. Oh, thank you, you just saved me. Thank you, Angelo. Thank you so much. Because Peach has still got stock in my district, so there's not really anything I can do. Oh, actually, there is. So I just put it in here, I guess. Oh, those are both max now. No point. No, I'm actually going to put it in here, and I'll tell you what, I will be buying this out. And then I'm going to sell the stock in Peach's district, but not all of it. Oh, now she's selling it in that one. Oh, 
Uh-oh. That barely even made me lose any money. Thank you for buying that back because I really don't want Peach getting more chances to invest. Although him investing as well would be a problem because he could easily give Peach the game. He's not careful. It's going to be a very difficult round for me to win. It's basically going to come down to mind games between myself and Peach. Of course, that's fine because I haven't got too much less than her and I'm still going to gain more money than I lose. Okay, good. She sold a few more, so if she runs out of money again, she'll most likely sell more. But Peach and I are pretty much paid. We're basically trying to raise our own net worths while crashing the other person. And that's why I decided to sell slightly less than hers. In case she started investing, because this way I, she doesn't gain that much over me. And if she starts selling in District A, then that works for me. Because, well, she's going to gain less each time I get to invest at the way she's going. That's the whole plan of mine. I'm just hoping Angelo doesn't throw the game. He got his other one back. Oh, come on. I don't want to go here. Goodness sake. Really don't want to be stuck on an island, or it's not even an island, just a part of the board where I can't leave, when Angelo could invest and make a 1000 space, and if that happens I basically lose. And then Peach has a 1000 space as well, like you're going to have to go past at least one of them. Everyone's landing on this one all of a sudden. This one went from having no one landing on it to now everyone's starting to. Oh, why does he even have that stuff? not what I want. Don't care. Peach doesn't have stock there. Doesn't matter. She can only do that five more times. And she's still cheating. Good. One less property of hers on the board.
Oh, cool. I guess that's mine now. Didn't really pay that much for it, though. But... Ugh, I don't like where this is going, because all it takes is for one bad move for me, or one unlucky move, and I'm done. And the fact that Peach got 3,000 as well from Lucky 7s would have been really nice if she didn't get that, you know? Okay, can you stop skipping my stuff every time, please? It's really quite... Oh, great. Round the blocks again? Are you kidding me? He better not get Lucky 7s and win the game because of it, because he's made a massive blunder by buying out the wrong shop, I feel. Like, one person got Lucky 7s. I don't need two people getting them, for goodness sake. Unless I'm one of them, of course. But what the heck? Oh, thank you. Let me off. Let me off. Get me off of here. Do not want to be here one second longer. Bruh, really? Hands on the bank. Stop cheating, Peach. Please. Okay. Really annoying that you keep cheating this hard. Angelo, I need you to not throw the game, please, I beg. the investment more. Oh, come on. Seriously? Another good card for Peach? Give her half of her freaking salary because she clearly needed it. Can she please stop getting lucky for one turn? I really want to win this round. You have no idea how much I want to win this round, but the game is making it pretty much impossible when Peach is getting every single good card in the game that she possibly needs. Come on, man. Why is she getting so lucky? Why can't I get lucky like that? Why can't I get a good card that allows me to get a massive advantage? No, I've got to some I've got to hope that I get to invest when I have loads of properties and that's not helping. Good card? No, terrible card. I lose money. Wonderful. Why couldn't Peach have got that one? But no, I had to get it. I need to pray that Angelo doesn't throw the game, which is a lot easier said than done, because if he invests, Peach wins. Which is what Bowser did last time, causing Platterpunk to win. What I write what I need is to get a chance to invest in my own stuff and Peach to lose some money, but it's not happening when she is getting this ridiculously lucky. Oh, great. He's got a much higher chance of investing now. That's going to ruin everything. Yeah, 
you mean your, my luck? My luck's not been very good, Birdo. If there's anyone whose luck should be rubbing off on people, it's Peaches. She's been insanely lucky. Angelo to roll something big. I really don't want him to invest because I know if he will invest, if he invests, he basically gives Peach the game. Okay, I don't think he can invest. Yes, keep going through my checkpoints, that's fine with me. choice. If I put more in here, she's just going to crash it. If I put some in here, I have insurance. Yeah, I'm doing that. Four times buyout. Don't know if that's going to help or not, actually. Right. I forgot about that. Okay, that's completely fine. I'd much rather Birdo got that card than Peach, because this card has been screwing me over for so long, and it's not even funny, and the fact that it hadn't been pulled yet was scaring me. So now that it's gone, I'm no longer worried. As long as it's not a 30 or 70. There's a 75% expansion, but again, that one's usually only on easy rules. And he's out of there, that's fine with me. Oh, this is coming down to the wire, and I don't like this. I'm not going to bother selling yet, actually. There's no point. Okay, can I actually get a good venture card this time? Yes, thank you. Actually, I don't have enough money. Never mind. Why am I getting excited? Oh, I do. I got loads of money. What am I on about? Okay, well, the plan is that I go here, wait, yeah, I'll go here. I need to put as much as I can in and raise this stock first. A store fit for a princess, I'll surely stop here, yeah, of course you will. You're going to avoid that as much as you can, you liar. Oh, well, obviously she didn't invest. Why would she go that way? She could lo lose all her money next time. What am I thinking? Why didn't Peach invest? Obviously she wouldn't. Well, yeah, there's no way she would have gone over there. They're all... Sm She's in last... Or Birdo's in last, aren't they? Oh, well that doesn't help. That was in the se that was the same one it was in for me. Oh, they were just barely third, I think. Well, that's a problem for Birdo.
did he just throw the game? Sweet. Thanks, Angelo. You just threw. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have won. So, uh, round of applause for Angelo for throwing that round. At least he didn't throw it to Peach or another computer player, but still. That was silly of him. Fought very hard to win that round, and I'm glad that I came out victorious. After having to reset twice due to horrible starts. That was an enjoyable round, even though I did get a bit stressed because I didn't know if I was going to win or not. But... Thank goodness, Peach, you put up a very good fight, and I commend you for your effort. But her lack of properties in the end game is what caused me to win. So. Let's see what I have tomorrow. Hopefully it's a board that's not small, because I kind of want a bigger board, because I like the bigger boards way more than the smaller ones. So our next board is... Too far. Freeway. I've played this one before, so I don't have to practice it. But I might still practice it just in case, because I know how this board works. You get locked in a certain direction. But anyways, I will see you guys then. <laughs>